Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba'd. This is the 24th lesson from the three fundamental principles of Rasul al-Thalatha. And inshallah today we will continue in the Asul al-Thalath inshallah. So the last time, uh, in the last lesson we went over the, the ayat in the Surah al-Mudathir. And uh, ya ayyuhal mudathir kum fa'anthir wa rabbaka fa'kabir wa thiyabaka fa'tahir wa rujza fa'hjur. وَلَا تَمْنُمْ تَسْتَكْثِرْ وَلِرَبِّكَ فَاصْبِرْ So, uh, and as the Mu'allaf said, he said, وَمَعْنَا كُمْ فَأَنْذِرْ يُنْذِرْ عَنَ الشِّرْكْ وَيَدْعُوا إِلَى تَوْهِيدْ وَرَبَّكَ فَكَبِرْ عَظِّمْهُ بِتَوْهِيد وَثِيَابَكَ فَطَاهِرْ And we talked about the thiyab here as, uh, as المعنو, الحسي والمعنوي that we have to purify our garments for the salat. We also have to purify our hearts from shirk. And, uh, kufr and all the love for those types of things and get all that stuff, all that, uh, that, that, that filth out of our hearts so we can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with ikhlas. Of course, the idols, and, uh, completely staying away from it, and leaving them off, uh, and, and leaving also the people who commit shirk. And the people uh, that worship those idols were bara'atu minha wal ahliha. And to completely have nothing to do with uh, the idols themselves or anything that's worshipped other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ahliha. And the people that do that. And then he said, akhada ala hadha ashara sanin yada'u ila tawheed. So after that, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa continued giving this, this da'wah, this da'wah of tawheed for 10 years. For 10 years just to establish in the hearts of the people the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the, what they, and, and, the, and the purpose of what they've been put on this earth for. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ جِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبَدُونَ That I have not created the the jinn and, the, and mankind for any other purpose except for to worship me. So the لِيَعْبَدُونَ the, is actually لِيَعْبَدُونِ Alright. So, وَبَعْدَ عَشَرِ عُرُجَ بِهِ لَسَّمَاءِ So after 10 years, then uh, we have the Isra' wal Mi'raj. Where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was taken to the different levels of heaven until he got, you know, he, the last person that he sat with was Musa Alayhi Salam. And then he went to the highest heaven, even to the point of reaching the Sidr uh, Al-Muntaha, as was mentioned in the Quran. Well, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said in Surah Al-Najm, where he said, مَا كَذَبَ الْفُؤَادُ مَا رَآهُ أَفَتُ مَا رُونُهُ عَلَى مَا يَرَأُ وَلَقَدَ رَآهُ نَزْلَةً أُخْرَى عِنْدَ سَدَرَةِ الْمُنْتَهَى عِنْدَ سَدَرَةِ الْمُنْهَى And of course this is talking about the, the Prophet ﷺ seeing Jibreel. It's not talking about the Prophet ﷺ seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he saw Jibreel twice in his actual state. I mean other times Jibreel he would come in the form of a man. But in his actual actual state he saw him two times. And this was uh, the other time, uh, the سَدَرَةِ الْمُنْتَهَى where he saw Jibreel. So this is talking about Jibril, it's not talking about uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam seeing Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Alright, so the hadith about the Al-Isra' wal Mi'raj is, a, is a, an Anas ibn Malik uh, and Malik ibn Sa'asa'a radiyallahu anhu. In which uh, he said, Qala qala nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bayna ana inda al-bayt uh, bayna na'im wal yaqadhan wa dhakara ya'ni rajulan bayna rajulain fa'utitu bi tasdim min dhahabin muliya hikmatin wa imanin. So he said, when I was, uh, it was in the house and I was between being asleep and awake, uh, so he said, فَأُتِيتُ بِطَصْتٍ مِنْ ذَهَبٍ مُولِيَةٍ بِحِكْمَةٍ وَإِيمَانٍ So they came with like a, this, uh, like a, a tost is like a, like a wash, like a type of wash basin that you use for washing in. He said, بِطَصْتٍ مِنْ ذَهَبٍ But it was made out of gold. He said, مُولِيَةٍ حِكْمَةٍ وَإِيمَانٍ And it was full of wisdom and iman. فَشُقَّ مِنَ مِنَ النَّحَرِ إِلَى مَرَاكَ الْبَطْنِ So this is of course when, his heart was taken out and it was purified. Thumma ghusil al batan bi ma and zamzam, and then uh, the inside was washed. The inside of him was washed with a uh, zamzam. Thumma muliya hikmatan wa iman, and then he was, and then it was fill, uh, filled with wisdom and iman. Wa oti to be dabat and abiyal, and he was given a riding beast. There was a white riding beast. Do uh, do al bagal wa fok al himar. It was is not quite uh, al bagal. Of course, is a uh, is a mixture between a, a horse and a donkey. And he said is it was not quite a bagal, but it was not it wasn't a himar, it was like between the two. And his name is Al Buraq. Fantalaktuma Jibril Hata Atena Sama Adunya. 
So then I left all, I left with Jibril until we got to the uh, to the to the end of the, the the first sky, which is the sky of the of the dunya, and because as we know that the that the the sky is the, the levels, and uh, and obviously as you're going to see, because the sky the the sky that is over this dunya, we're going to see in this hadith that it's not possible for the people to get out of the sky except for with the permission, as you're going to see in the hadith that they had to get permission to leave. So I guess that would negate the fact of saying that they went to the moon, right? So Allah Mustahim. So he said, so he said, when Imam Abu Tita Abi Allah Dun al Bagal Bafok al Himar al Barak, Fantalak to my Jibril, Hata Atena Sama Dunya, Kila Men Hada. So they said, Who is this? Kala Jibril. And he said, This is Jibril, Kila Men Mak. And he said, Who's with you? Kala Muhammad. Kila Wakal Ursela Ili, has he been sent? Has the message been sent to him? Kala Naam. He said, Yes. Kila Marhaban Bihi Wala Naam al Maji Ujia. And he said, uh, you know, greetings to him. He's welcome. And he's the best, the, what a blessed, uh, person that's, that's coming to us, you know. So the Prophet the first person that he met was Adam, alayhi salam, and he gave him salams. So Adam said to him, he said, uh, welcome to, uh, welcome to you, for, uh, a son and a prophet. Then he reached the second sky. Same thing. They had to get permission. Call it Jibril. Call it Muhammad. 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 So they basically said the same thing that they said in the first heaven. فَأَتَيْتُ عَلَىٰ عِيسَىٰ وَيَحْيَىٰ So then he came upon Isa and Yahya. فَقَالَ مَرْحَبًا بِكْ مِنْ أَخٍ وَنَبِيٍ So Isa and Yahya, they said to Isa, فَقَالَ so they both said to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Welcome to you from a brother and a prophet. فَأَتَيْنَ السَّمَاءَ ثالثة. So then he reached the third sky, the third heavens. قِيلَ مَنْ هَذَا قِيلَ قَالَ جِبْرِيلُ قِيلَ مَنْ مَعَكْ قَالَ مُحَمَّدْ قِيلَ وَقَرْ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِ قَالَ نَعْمْ قِيلَ مَرْحَبًا بِهِ وَلَا نِعْمَ الْمَجِيءُ جَاءَ So he said the same thing. The, the angels at the third heaven said the same thing as the first two. فَأَتَيْتُ عَلَى يُوسُ فَسَلَمْتُ عَلَيْهِ So he, he reached Yusuf. قَالَ مَرْحَبًا بِكْ مِنْ أَخٍ وَنَبِي So he said, uh, uh, Welcome to you from a, a brother a brother and a prophet. فَأَتَيْنَ السَّمَاءَ رَابِعَ So this is the fourth heaven. قِيلَ مَنْ هَذَا قَالَ جِبْرِيلُ قِيلَ قِيلَ مَنْ مَعَكْ قَالَ مُحَمَّدْ قِيلَ وَمَنْ وَقَدْ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِ قَالَ نَعَمْ قِيلَ مَرْحَبًا بِهِ وَلَا نِعْمَ الْمَجِيءُ جَاءَ فَأَتَيْتُ عَلَى إِذْرِيسِ فَسَلَمْتُ عَلَيْهِ So he gave salams to Idris in the fourth. Now, the fourth heaven. فَقَالَ مَرْحَبًا بِكْ مِنْ أَخٍ وَنَبِي And he said the same thing, you know, welcome to you from a, from a brother and a prophet. فَأَتَيْنَ السَّمَاءَ الْخَامِسَةِ So now he reached the fifth one. قِيلَ مَنْ هَذَا قَالَ جِبْرِيلُ قِيلَ وَمَنْ مَعَكْ قَالَ مُحَمَّدْ قِيلَ وَقَالْ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِ قَالَ نَعَمْ قِيلَ مَرْحَبًا بِهِ وَلَا نِعْمَ الْمُجِيءُ وَجَاءَ فَأَتَيْنَ عَلَى حَارُونَ فَسَلَمْتُ عَلَيْهِ So Harun here is in this heaven. فَقَالَ مَرْحَبًا بِكْ مِنْ أَخٍ وَنَبِي And he said the same thing, uh, uh, Welcome to you from a brother and a prophet. فَأَتَيْنَ عَلَى السَّمَاءَ السَّادِسَةِ So this is now the sixth heaven. قِيلَ مَنْ هَذَا قَالَ جِبْرِيلْ قِيلَ وَمَنْ مَعَكْ قَالَ مُحَمَّدْ قِيلَ وَقَالْ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِ قَالَ نَعْمْ قِيلَ مَرْحَبًا بِهِ وَلَا نِعْمَ الْمَجِيءُ جَاءَ فَأَتَيْتُ عَلَى مُوسَى فَسَلَمْتُ عَلَيْهِ So now he's reached Musa alayhi salam in the sixth, all right, in the sixth uh, heaven. Uh, فَقَالَ مَرْحَبًا بِكْ مِنْ أَخٍ وَنَبِي And he said the same thing. Uh, great, uh, you know, welcome to you from a brother and a prophet. فَلَمَّا جَاوَسْتُ بَكَى So uh, once I, once I passed him and moved past him to the next, to the next part that he's going to, he said that Musa cried. وَقِيلَ مَا أَبْكَاكَ He said, what, what, what's causing you to cry? قَالَ يَا رَبْ هَذَا الْغُلَامَ الَّذِي بُعِثَ بَعْدِي يَدَخُلُ الْجَنَّةِ مِنْ أُمَّتِي أَفْضَلُ مِمَا يَدَخُلُ مِنْ أُمَّتِي he said, "This this young man that came after me, that was uh, that was sent after me, that from his nation there will be more people that will enter Jannah than the people that will enter Jannah from my nation, from my ummah." And that also goes to show you the the prophets and their concern with the people and the people entering Jannah. That their whole concern was dawah, that they were never given dawah to themselves. It's always about the religion and given uh, given dawah to Tawheed. Because they wanted uh, as many people to enter Jannah, you know, and, and to follow and uh, follow the commands of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, so they can enter Jannah, 
as, as possible. So you see that Musa alayhi salam, even though he's in the sixth heaven, he, he cried. He cried because of the, you know, and he, he, he wished that more people from his ummah could have gone into Jannah. So he said, مِمَا يَدَخُلُ مِنْ أُمَّتِي فَأَتَيْنَ السَّمَاءَ السَّابِعَ So now the Prophet ﷺ now reaches the seventh heaven. قِيلَ مَنْ هَذَا قِيلَ جِبْرِيلَ قِيلَ مَنْ مَعَكَ قَالَ مُحَمَّدْ قِيلَ وَقَدْ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِ قَالَ نَعْمْ قِيلَ مَرْحَبًا بِهِ وَلَا نَعْمَ الْمَجِئُ جَاءَ فَأَتَيْتُ عَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمِ So now he gets to Ibrahim alayhi salam in the, in the seventh heaven. فَسَلَّمْتُ عَلَيْهِ And he gave him salams. فَقَالَ مَرْحَبًا بِكْ مِنْ إِبْن وَنَبِي And he said, uh, welcome to you from a son and a prophet. فَرُفِعَ لِي الْبَيْتِ الْمَعْمُورِ And البيت المعمور is a, is basically a house uh, uh, like a worship. And it's mentioned in uh, Surah At-Tur وَالْبَيْتِ الْمَعْمُورِ And also mentioned from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that 70,000 angels enter to the Bayt uh, uh, al-Ma'mur every single day. You know, 70,000 enter, they, like, لا يعودون إليه إلى يوم القيامة. They don't return to it until the Day of Judgment. So this is the, now the Prophet Sallallahu now at this point he's reached this level of the heavens of the, of the Bayt al-Ma'mur. The, the area, the house, worship that the Malaika enter in 70,000 every single, every single day. So he said, when I be al al-Bayt al-Ma'mur, فَسَأَلْتُ جِبْرِيلَ فَقَالَ مَا هَذَا الْبَيْتِ الْمَعْمُورِ He asked Jibril, what is this? What is this? He said, هَذَا الْبَيْتِ الْمَعْمُورِ يُصَلِّ فِيهِ كُلِّ يَوْمٍ سَبْعُونَ أَلْفَ مَلَكٍ إِذَا خَرَجُوا لَمْ يَعُودُوا إِلَيْهِ آخِرَ مَا عَلَيْهِ So he said, every single day, 70,000 angels, they pray here. إِذَا خَرَجُوا If they, if they exit it, لَمْ يَعُودُوا إِلَيْهِ آخِرَ مَا عَلَيْهِ And they will not return for all their existence. وَرُفِعَ لِي صَدَرَةُ الْمُنْتَهَى and then the last thing, and the next thing that he, he saw was the Sidrat al-Muntaha. Sidrat uh, al-Muntaha is, of course, a Sidr is a type of tree. <coughs> it's a famous tree in the Middle East and other countries also, but uh, it's uh, especially in Yemen, where you see that's where they get the, the honey from, the Sidr, which is the, which is the top honey in Yemen. Uh, according to some translations, it's called the Lok tree. Uh, like I said, I don't know. I just know it as the Sidr, <laughs> the Sidr tree. And uh, according to Al-Baghawi, Rahimullah, and also some of the other Mufassirim, he said uh, the reason why it was called, <coughs> it was called Sidrat Al-Muntaha, Sidrat Al-Muntaha, is because Ilayhi Yintahi Ilm Al-Khalq. So the knowledge of creation is, it, it ends there, it is like the last point, the last point. So no creation. You know, and the, that's the ending of the knowledge of creation. Like no creation has knowledge past that point of what goes on, like what happens. Because even here we have from the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this was the last part. And this is where he saw Jibril. And now we're going to go into the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the salat and the salat be, becoming obligatory upon us at this point. He said, You said, if he equally you miss about an alpha malik and either Kharaju Lemmy or do Elihi Akhra Ma'alihi. وَرُفِعَ عَلَيْهِ سَدَرَةٌ مُنْتَهَا فَإِذَا نَبِقُهَا The نَبِق is the uh, the fruit of the Siddur tree. It's a, it's like a little round, it's a little round fruit that comes off the tree. Uh, I would say it's, uh, uh, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, if anybody knows like the M&Ms, not the, not the chocolate ones, but the ones with the nut in the middle, it's, it's a little bit bigger than that. It's a little bit bigger than that, the fruit. It's a, it comes out, it's yellow. Like I said, this is the fruit, this is called the nabaq. And that's why they call it like a sidra, the sidr. They call it shajarat al-nabaq. Ka'annahu qilal al-hajr. So the word qilal al-hajr, uh, hajr of course, uh, I mean, well, first off, hajr refers to uh, uh, an area. So the main focus here is on what is qilal, is a qulla. And what it is, it's like a big, uh, it's, a, it's a huge, uh, like a wa water vessel. Like a bucket, not a bucket. I mean, bigger than a bucket. That uh, is enough to fill up two uh, two water skins, and some say two and two and a half, some say four. There's a difference of opinion. Of course, this is something that we've gone over in Baluga Maram when we've uh, talked about the amount of uh, the qulla in the water, and this is at the beginning of the uh, the lesson in Baluga Maram. So what? Because uh, it came in the hadith of Abdullah ibn Omar. So. As far as that's concerned, we're not going to go back into that, but uh, 
it's basically saying that, that that's the size, the size, uh, you know, that the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is describing the size of the, uh, of the fruit as to be like that size, like the size of that type of bucket. So that's a, that's, that's a pretty big <laughs> fruit, right? Cause like I said, anybody that knows the cedar tree that knows the fruit is very small. So for it to be like that size, that's, that's, that's quite, that's quite big. So he said, "Qilal al-Hajj wa warqaha ka'nu aadan al-fiyul." So he said that the that the that the leaves of the cedar tree, which also the leaves of the cedar tree are very small in, in the dunya. You know, if anybody knows the cedar tree, the fruit is small, and the leaves, and they have a lot. It, the cedar has a lot of thorns on it. He said, "Well, but here the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the the cedar the cedar of al-muntaha in Jannah." It says that the leaves of the tree are like the the ears of the ears of the of the of the elephants. The Asliha Arabatu Anhar, and it said that the, the base of it, there's four rivers that are coming out. For either Nahrani Batinan or Nahrani Dahiran. So the Nahrani, uh, the two rivers, the inner rivers that are only in Jannah, and then you have the Dahiran, the other two rivers. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked about these. He said, For Sa'atu Jibril, I call it Amal Batinan, for Fil Jannah. He said, uh, As far as the, the, the Batinan, the the ones that don't, they, they only run, they're, they're in Jannah only. وَمَا ظَاهِرَانْ النِّيلْ وَالْفُرَاتِ And this, he mentioned the Nile and the Euphrates. ثُمَّ أُرَى ثُمَّ فُرِّضَتْ عَلَيَّ خَمْسُونَ الصَّلَاةِ And then at this point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made obligatory upon, the, uh, upon this Ummah 50, 50 prayers every single day. فَأَقْبَطُ هَتَّ جِتْ So he, he left, he, 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 he said, okay, you know, I hear now, I hear now, I obey basically. فَقَالَ مَا صَنَعْتْ Kutu furidat alayya khamsuna salat. And he's speaking with Musa alayhi salam. He said, What happened? He said that uh, 50 prayers were made obligatory upon me. He said, Kala, ana alamu bin nasi mink. He said, I know the people better than you. Alish to bani Israel, I shed the mu'alaja. He said, I, you know, I tried to work with the, 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 the tribes of Israel and I tried to work with them in the best manner. When Umar taklatatik, he said, You're, Said your your nation they can't do this. So go back to your Lord and ask him. So he went back and he asked, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it forty. Thumma mifluhu, thumma thalathin, thumma mifluhu. So every time he would go back and Musa alayhi salam they have this conversation and he'd go back and ask and he went down to thirty, thumma mifluhu fa jaalu a shirin, and then he had the conversation again and then went to twenty, thumma mifluhu fa jaala fa jaala asharan. He said, then he went again and he asked and he, he made it 10. And then, then of course, Musa alayhi salam said it again. And then he went back and he asked again and it became five. So he went back to Musa alayhi salam and he said, what, what did you do? He said, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he made it five. And then he said again, the same thing, you know, go back and ask your Lord for, you know, to make it less because, you know, he, his, his experience with Bani Israel. Go to salam to Bukhair. And of course we know from the, from the other narrations of the Isra' wal Miraj in Sahih Muslim and also in Sahih Bukhari, where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned that, you know, I've gone back to my Lord so many times that I'm, I'm, I'm now shy to go back and ask for any more. So he said here, salam to Bukhair, you know, like basically like, you know, I, I've, I've, I've uh, surrendered to the good. I've accepted the good that, that Allah has granted for us. So, basically, you know this, and this is where it ends at the five, the, the five daily prayers. So for Nudia, and it was called like there was a caller that called out, "Inni kada amzaitu faridati." I'm now, you know, basically uh, I've now set my obligation upon the servants. وَخَفَفْتُ عَنْ إِبَادِي and I've lessened the burden upon my servants. وَأَجْزِي الْحَسَنَةَ عَشَرَةَ and I will give the reward for every for every good deed ashara, so ten. So for every prayer that the person prays, he gets the reward of ten prayers. So you pray five in a day, but you get fifty in a reward. And this hadith is a mutafakun ali. So after the part about the uh, uh, where the where the author said wa ba'd al ashari orja bihi al sama. So this, uh, referring back to this, to this part where the, where the salawat became an obligation upon.